Well, when Tyson announced the closure of their facilities here, um, all the corolla farms were immediately uh, cut off. And the four of us got together and started looking for other integrators to come in with broilers since this complex was set up for broilers. Reached out to several. We reached out to the state, um, Secretary of Ad, Matt Lauer, and county administrators to help us. We reached out to 20 companies for broilers. We got the same story that the market saturated and they have no plans of expanding in the near future. We got a phone call from somebody that said there was some interest in some eggs that we'd have to fly down to Indiana and four of us got on a jet and went to Indiana. And this is what came out of it. So they're looking to place uh, a million hens within the first year, two million the second year. And it's quite a bit for the farms because the difference in broilers and layers is dramatically different in the equipment. It's a huge investment on the rower side. Um, the anywhere from 400000 to a million dollars per house. And on top of that, the co-op also has to have funds for the baby chicks, the feed, until that hen starts laying eggs. But Dutch will buy all the eggs for 13 years, up to, at this point, two million hens. It's a good contract for the co-op and a good contract for the growers. Well, for the growers, it's, it's, it's huge because it, it gets them back into the farming operation. For the counties, it's huge because that's a huge economic loss with uh, Tyson shutting down just in grain, propane, and, and just tax revenues um, is, is huge and to the state as well, too. So it, it helps the growers. It helps the economy. Um, you know, the amount that was generated from Tyson um, is substantial. Now, the difference with Tyson and the co-op is Tyson got to keep all the profits. And with the co-op, it goes back to the farm owners.